students let us see what is there in this question now so three lamps x y z are connected as shown in circuit the emf of the cell is 20 volt and the internal resistance of the cell is negligible the power dissipated in x y and z is given as 10 watt 20 and 20 watt each what is the voltage across the lamp x and lamp y okay so first of all let me redraw the circuit so that we can we are able to understand what is happening here so in easy sense we can draw this circuit like this and this is given as 20 <clears throat> this is x this is y and this is z so we can just assume that v1 is the potential difference across x and v2 is the potential difference across y as well as z because both of them are in parallel so the potential difference across them will be same so this is assumed as v2 now one thing is sure that the sum total of v1 and v2 will be equal to 20. well with this much of the piece of information we can clearly uh, see a couple of uh, we can cross some of the options here let us see so a option 16 plus 4 is 20 4 plus 16 is 20 4 plus 8 is 12 so c is wrong 16 plus 16 is 32 so d is wrong clearly the answer is not c or d the answer will be either a or b now let us uh, think on this how to find the value of v1 and v2 so what is the other piece of information which is given in the question so the power here is given as 10 watt power here is given as 20 watt and power here is given as 20 watt okay and the lamps are not identical so all of the resistances will be different but one thing is like we can also judge from this like the power here is 20 watt and power here is also 20 watt and obviously they are in parallel so the voltage difference will also be same so there is a formula for the power which is v square by r so if the voltage is the same across these two resistances that is y and z the power is also same it means that resistance should also be same so the resistance of this and the resistance of this will be same so we have jump, jumped to this conclusion also but for this there is a possibility that resistance is different and there is a possibility that it could be same but we do not know so let us just assume it to be r dash anyways so we're talking about the power now so there are a couple of other formulas that we can use v into y i square r so we do not know anything about the resistance here let us go for using vi because we do not want to have the resistance in our equation so we just assume okay at this junction the current would be dividing and it will be dividing itself into two parts which will be equal to each other because the resistances are equal isn't it like here the current will come like i so this will be becoming i by 2 i by 2 so i can just assume it to be i i by 2 here and i by 2 in this branch fine no problem so this is done and this will be i so I just want to create another equation for the V1 and V2 and then we will be having two equations and we can solve this. This question is indeed difficult and it is confusing. No doubt about that. There are a couple of variables we do not know and the if we want to start finding all of the variables like what is the resistance and all that it will become a really very long question. So we have to think of something else. Anyways, we think of the power because power is given. So I can clearly say in the case of x that is 10 will be equal to v1 so the voltage here is v1 I have assumed v1 here v1 into i that will be 10 and the power y is 20 and let us say the voltage will be v2 and the current will be i divided by 2 yes now we can cancel i and i we can find the ratio of v1 and v2 so now i'm erasing this diagram here that is of no use anymore so i need space yes now you see from this 10 divided by 20 is equal to v1 i divided by v2 into i by 2 i can do it like that i know that there will be students those who would be confused with this 
kind of algebra but uh, my dear students or you have to do one thing you have to find the value of i then you have to substitute the value of i into this equation you would be getting the same thing uh, whichever arithmetical formulation that you follow so from here we are going to find the value of v1 and v2 so this is one by two this two will go into the numerator i and i gets cancelled out clearly v1 by v2 is coming out to be one by four so this is the first equation that we have and this is the second equation that we have now also we have the values with us like this will be vx and this will be vy so we can just plug in the values from given in the option and we can see which value is giving us the answer one by four clearly so there are two methods so v1 by v2 is equal to one by four let us go for the options so v1 and v2 so 4 divided by 16 is 1 by 4 so clearly b will be the answer for this question my dear students indeed this question was quite difficult no doubt about that there will be very less number of students those who would be able to do this question i believe that's a very good question from ib so my dear students if you uh, like the video please uh, like the video and subscribe the youtube channel and please join the YouTube channel if you want to access the paper two questions. This is Professor Varun. All the best.